Welcome back. In this video, we'll be showing you how to get the best part of your business on board, your clients. In Visita, you can add clients one at a time or import clients in bulk. We'll start in our clients list. This section may be named differently based on your account settings. Remember that you can change a work term you're using anytime under Settings, Business Info. In this example, we're working with patients. Great, we'll start by adding a single client. Click New Client at the top of this page. You can also use the Quick Actions menu to add a new client. This is where we'll fill out the client's information. You will notice that the contact fields and client fields are grouped separately. Remember that we set up these fields under Client Card Settings. Refer to our previous video if you'd like to learn more. Fill out as much of the information as you would like. Only the first name is mandatory, but we recommend a last name and email address as well. Now let's move on to the client fields. There is a second optional name field. You can fill this out if the client is separate from the main contact. For example, the client could be a child and their main contact would be a parent. This is called nesting. You can watch our video on nesting to learn more. For now, we'll leave it blank because the contact and the client are the same person. Fill out the rest of the client fields. Finally, you can add tags or notes as needed. A tag is a descriptive label you add to your clients that help you group your clients. For example, this group therapy tag for clients who have attended a group therapy session. Tags appear in the client list and you can use them to market to groups of clients or filter out related clients. Use the dropdown to add multiple existing tags or just type to add new tags. Separate them with the spacebar. The Notes field is for internal notes. These will not be shared with your client. Click Save to add your client. You will be taken to the new client card and the client will now appear in your clients list. Notice the client fields, tags, and internal notes on the left panel and the contact information in the right panel. Adding clients one at a time is great for adding clients on the go but for bulk client uploads, you will want to take advantage of one of our bulk import options. Click the Import button at the top of the page. You will have three options for client import, Google Contacts, Square, and Spreadsheet Import. Today, we'll be showing you the Spreadsheet Import because it gives you the most freedom to import as much client information as you need. The first step is preparing your spreadsheet. If you need a template, you can click on Download Template. Make sure to delete and adjust the columns as needed. The columns shown are based on the fields in your client card settings. Here's a spreadsheet we're going to use for importing. Make sure to match the header columns exactly to your client fields. First name is mandatory, but a last name and email are strongly recommended as well. You can import the status of a client. If you do not specify a status, all clients will be imported as a new lead by default. Check in your client card settings to see what statuses you are using. Continue filling out the remainder of the client and contact fields you want to import. You can even import a time zone. If filling in a date, make sure to use the correct date format. Finally, you can even import tags and notes. If importing multiple tags, Separate them with the pipe symbol as shown in the spreadsheet. As for notes, you can import one note at a time. Make sure your spreadsheet doesn't have any gaps or unnecessary formatting and save it. Let's return to Visita. Upload your sheet. Now we'll map fields to make sure the right columns are imported in the right client fields. Your spreadsheet fields are listed on the left and your client card fields are on the right. Based on the column headers, Visita will automatically match most of your fields. Double check and make sure that they are all mapped correctly. If you don't want to import a specific column, select Don't Import from the dropdown. On the next page, you will get to determine what to do with existing clients. If one of the clients you are importing already exists in your CRM, you can either skip the client or choose Overwrite to overwrite the existing client fields. 
This is actually a great option if you simply want to update your CRM with new information. The overwrite will only update fields you specified in your spreadsheet. It won't erase any data in your client card. Keep in mind that existing clients are identified by email. We will skip for now. Click Import to complete your import. Your import is underway. Depending on the size of your spreadsheet, it may take a few minutes for the import to complete, but luckily, you don't have to hang around and wait. When the import is complete, you will receive an import and summary email. Imported clients are identified, along with the date of import with the tag in the CRM, so you can keep track of your imports. We hope this video helped with the important task of importing your clients. Visit our Help Center to learn more at support.visita.com.